Hi friends, Krista here. Thank you so much for watching Books and Jams today and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. I'm really excited about this video. I was debating with myself if I was going to do this again this year and I decided that I am because this is going to be the fourth year where I ask you to recommend books for me to read based on my owned TBR shelf on Goodreads. So I am going to kind of go over the last couple years and how I'm doing with those lists. And because I've kept track, I make a spreadsheet every year and let you know how I did specifically in 2021. And then ask you to click on the Goodreads link that will take you to my own TBR shelf and recommend a book for me. And I will clear off the cart from this year, add on the all the new books that you guys are going to recommend that are on my shelves. Number one, it's a way to make more room on my shelves because I'll put them on my cart. Number two, I kind of go here first for books that I want to read during the month and I see if anything is calling to me from these recommendations. I have not made a goal of reading all of these in the year. In this past year, in 2021, you guys recommended 138 books off of my shelves and I, multiple, multiple people picked the same book and I tried to read some of those ones first that were recommended by more than one person, but we're going to just talk about it a little bit. How do I do? How did I do? How do I do this? Like, we're going to just talk through this. It's just going to be a little bit of a chatty video. In past years, I have gone through my cart book by book by book, and I'm not going to do that today, mainly because books from the cart have been in different lists for other things, and they're all over the room. They didn't make it back onto the cart. In fact, the cart is looking a little sparse right now, and it pretty jam-packed full usually. And books that I've read have gone into other rooms, all that jazz. I did give myself the goal this year of reading 38% or more, which would be an increase from what I did last year. So the simple goal that I had was to read more books off of my cart than I did the year before. And this year that meant 48 books. And I gotta tell you right now, I'm at 47. That's read or unhauled. So we're going to talk through the ones that I've read and the ones that I've unhauled. And then I'd love for you to go click on that link and we'll start a new list for 2022. On this year's list, I did unhaul 10 books and I'll just real quickly tell you which ones I unhauled. I unhauled Shanghai Girls by Lisa C. Lisa C was one of the authors, five authors that I wanted to read in 2020. And after reading one of them, I decided I was going to unhaul the, all of her books that I owned. And so Shanghai Girls did not stay on my shelves. It is gone. I also unhauled Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. I just think after thinking about it a little more and comparing my desire to read that one com compared to the rest of the books on my shelves, I decided I didn't want to read it. These may have been in previous unhaul videos of mine as well. I'm just kind of going through the list. I also unhauled Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, Lost Vintage by An Anne Ma, the Jane Austen Book Club, I did a try a chapter and was not into it. Heard enough people say that they did not like it, that I was convinced <laughs> and got rid of it. I unhauled Game of Thrones. Why did I even buy Game of Thrones? I knew I was never going to read that book by George R. R. Martin. I unhauled Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson. I have enough thrillers on my shelf and I don't read thrillers all that often, so I got rid of that one. I also unhauled Cold Comfort Farm. Truth be told, I never found that one. I think I had unhauled it before 2021 and I just don't know why it was still on my shelves on Goodreads, but that's gone. I unhauled City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. I got about 50 to 100 pages into that one and just decided it was not the book for me. I thought it was going to be more about theater in the 1920s in New York City. I was very excited for that, but it ended up being a little bit about that, but mostly about this young girl's sexual awakening. And I just did not need to hear all of her sexual romps through the city. <laughs> Wasn't my cup of tea. And the final one that I unhauled is The 19th Wife by David, David Ebershoff. And I just actually put this in my unhaul pile the other day when I did a try a chapter tag. I just didn't like the writing style. There was a lot of cursing within the first two chapters, first 10 or 15 pages. And I just decided it's not going to be for me. A little too out there as far as the structure goes. I have heard a couple people after that video say that once you get into it, it's a little bit better, but I just don't think his writing style and I are going to jive very well. So those are the ones that I unhauled. Now I'll tell you the ones that I read and I did read 39 of them. I'm not going to put up pictures or anything because I'm not really talking about the books. I'm just going to tell you the ones that I read. 
A Single Shard by Linda Sue Park is on my Newberry shelf. Kept it, read it, really enjoyed it. Because of Winn-Dixie, also on my Newberry shelf, Kate DiCamillo is one of my favorite middle grade authors. Beneath a Scarlet Sky was a World War II historical fiction by Mark Sullivan. Loved. Listen to that on audio. Big Lies in a Small Town, Diane Chamberlain, one of my favorite authors now. Absolutely loved that one. I'm just going alphabetically. I read From Scratch, which is a memoir by Tembi Locke. This was one of my patron book club books earlier this year, and I really enjoyed it. There's a death scene in there that I think was written so incredibly beautifully and tender. It, it was stunning. I really loved that one. Uh, From the Mixed Up Files of Mrs. Basil E. Frank Weather? I don't even remember now. Yeah, Frank Weather, I think. Another Newbery winner. E.L. Conningberg is the author of that one. Hatchet by Gary Paulson is a middle grade that I did not care for. I think I unhauled that one. I don't think it's still on my shelves. Um, but I did read it, so it counted it as read. House at Riverton by Kate Morton. Unfortunately, I'm going to be unhauling that as well. I do love Kate Morton in general. This one just didn't work for me. House on, Fo House on Foster Hill by Jamie Jo Wright. I loved how Not to Die Alone by Richard Roper. I read and unhauled. Thought it was an interesting story, but didn't didn't love it. Didn't stand out. Same with In Five Years by Rebecca Searle. Read that. Didn't love it. Island of the Blue Dolphin, another Newberry. When I keep pointing over there, all those that go across here, those are my Newberry winners. That's why I keep pointing there. <laughs> Sorry. Amongst all the other books that need to get put away. Oh my. Julie of the Wolves by Jean Craighead George, another Newberry winner that I loved. Keeper of the Lost Cities. I started that series this year and love it by Shannon Messenger. Kira Kira, another Newbery winner by Cynthia Katohata. Lost for Word Bookshop, I read by Stephanie Butland. I honestly don't remember even reading that, but I did early on in the year, I guess. The Memory Keeper's Daughter by Kim Edwards, another Patreon book club book from this year. Miracle Creek by Angie Kim. Super different from other things that I've read. A little bit of a mystery, a little bit of courtroom drama. Really enjoyed it. Moon Over Manifest, another Newberry winner by Claire v Vanderpool. I, d I made great progress with all the Newberry winners. Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim, another Newberry winner by Robert C. O'Brien. <laughs> uh, the Orphan Collector by Ellen Marie Wiseman, another Patreon book club book. Orphan's Tale by Pam Jenniff, I just read very recently. Pride by E.B. Zaboy. I read early on in the year, maybe February, I think. Was a little bit disappointed in it, but I I'm glad that I read it. The Reckoning at Gossamer Pond is another book by Jamie Jo Wright that I absolutely loved. The Red Tent, I just read recently by Anita Diamond. Glad that I finally read that. I feel like that's been on every list for the three years that I've done this, and now it's read. Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry by Mildred D. Taylor. One of my favorite reads from middle grade March. So good. Secrets of a Charmed Life by Susan Meisner. Really enjoyed that one. I love Susan Meisner. Sourdough by Robin Sloan was another one that kind of disappointed me a little bit. Not disappointed me. It just got a little too weird by the end. I was, I was over it. <laughs> by the time it was over, I'm like, what on earth did I just read? This Tender Land by William Kent Kruger. One of my favorites of the year. Thousand Splendid Sons. Also a book that I loved this year by Khalid Hosseini. True to You by Becky Wade. I think I read it in February. Don't honestly remember it at all. <laughs> Christian fiction. I, I don't remember the story at all. If I saw the description, I might remember it, but off the top of my head. So sadly, that was slightly forgettable. The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. A, a good one, but different. And um, I didn't love it as much as I was kind of hoping to or expecting to, I think. Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, I was very disappointed by. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, not a fan. <laughs> Waves of Mercy by Lynn Austin, a Christian fiction that I just really didn't like. <laughs> Bummer. That's like three in a row. When We Left Cuba, I enjoyed that sequel by Chanel Clayton. It's the sequel to Next Year in Havana. When You Reach Me, another Newbery shelf winner, a Newbery winner by Rebecca Stead. Uh, Where the Lost Wander by Amy Harmon, love, love, love. And finally, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. So that is 39 books of the 138 plus the 10 that I that I unhauled. So that makes 49 and I needed to read 48. Did I say I was only at 47? I forgot to update that. I have read or unhauled 49, which means I have 
achieved my goal of reading 38% or more. So I'm really pleased. Some of those books I have had on previous years, some of them have been recommended to me year after year. So I do go back, I choose a color. So I'll show you briefly. But every year I choose a color. So this year is green. So when I go back to previous years, so here's 2019, there's some yellow, there's some green, and there's some pink on there because each year I choose a different color and mark it with a different color. And unhauls get marked in, in dark gray or black even. And ideally, I mean, 2019 only has a handful of books left on it that I haven't yet read or unhauled. So it would be kind of cool to go back and read those ones first, but that's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> so what I would love for you to do, I, I know this is kind of a, a different strange video, but this is just one of the goals that I, I don't put a number on it. The goal is to just read from that shelf or cart, I should say, as much as I can throughout the year. So chatting aside, I wanted to keep this one a little bit shorter. <laughs> so what I need from you now is to go onto that link down below my own TBR fiction shelf on Goodreads and pick a book for me. I mean, you could pick more than one. I'm okay with that. I will make a spreadsheet, include all of your choices on it. I mean, don't pick more than five, right? Keep it, keep it kind of small. <laughs> you can rearrange that list on Goodreads. You have the ability to, to rank them by title, by author, by rating. You can pick one that's rated really high. You can pick one that's rated really low. You can just go to the middle because there's a lot of them on there. I think 620 something. Um, so change how it's set up when you first click on it. Pick a couple books that you think I would enjoy, that you would like me to read, and let me know in the comments below. I always have so much fun once those comments start rolling in and I start making that spreadsheet for next year. And then early on in the new year, probably, or right at the end of this year, I will go through and tell you, I will rearrange my cart and I will share with you all the new books that are on my cart for 2022. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for helping me with that. I love this community and I love making it a community and having you involved in some of my choices makes it fun for me. So thank you so much for participating in that and picking a book or two for me to read. I know I get a lot of people who watch these videos, so it could be a bigger list than normal. We'll see. But I appreciate you so much. Thank you for helping me out, picking a book for me that you would like me to read or two or three, not five or six, please. <laughs> uh, let's chat in the comments below. I can't wait to see what you pick. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in another video tomorrow. Bye.